Hey there guys, Ectomaster here. It is still Warcraft beta time. I Yeah, I don't know what I was going to go with there. Anyways, we're back in the beta. We're taking a look at more talents. This time we're taking a look at the priest and the priest-like talents. Uh, so we're going to look at all of them, starting with discipline and going down to shadow. So yeah, this is Stance. He's a priest. I thought that'd be fun. He's undead. Why not? Anyways, Discipline is a healer spec. Primary stat is Intellect. Uses magic to shield allies from taking damage, as well as heal their own wounds. Or their wounds, the allies, whatever. So you have Power Word Shield, Atonement, Smite, Shadow Mend, Penance, and Shadow Word Pain. Uh, this is also semi-decent DPS, because um, it's kind of a mixed bag. We'll, you'll kind of see that as we go through the spec, the talents here. Anyways, so level 15, we have the Pentinent. Pen, penance can maybe, ugh, penance may be cast on a friendly target, healing them for X over 1.5 seconds. Castigation, penance fires one additional bolt of holy light over its duration. And schism, attack the enemy's soul with a surge of shadow energy. Dealing X shadow damage and increasing damage that you deal to the target by 30% for 6 seconds. At level 30 we have Angelic Feather. Places a feather at the target location. Granting the first ally to walk through it 40% increased movement speed for 5 seconds. Only 3 feathers can be placed at one time with a maximum of 3 charges. Body and Soul. Power, power Word Shield and Leap of Faith. Increases your target's movement speed by 40% for 3 seconds. And Masochism. Masochism? Masochism? Meh. When you cast Shadow, shadow Mend on yourself, its damage over time effect heals you instead. At level 45, we have Shining Force. Create a burst of light around a friendly target, knocking away nearby enemies and slowing their movement speed by 70% for 3 seconds. Psychic Voice reduces the cooldown of Psychic Scream bleh, by 30 seconds. Dominant Mind. You may also control your own character while Mind Control is active. And Mind Control now lasts one minute. But it may not be used against players. Level 60, we have Power Word Solace. Strikes an enemy with heavenly power, dealing X holy damage and restoring 0.75% of your maximum mana. Shield Discipline, when your Power Word Shield is completely absorbed, you'll instantly regenerate 1% of your maximum mana. And Mind Bender, replaces Shadow Fiend. Summons a Mind Bender to attack the target for 12 seconds. You regenerate 0.75% of maximum mana each time the Mind Bender attacks. Level 75, we have Contrition, increases atonement duration by 2 seconds. Power Infusion infuses you with the power, with power for 20 seconds, with the power! Increasing haste by 25% and, redu and reducing mana cost of all spells by 20%. I thought that said Craven Dork. Boy. Twist of Fate. After healing a target below 35% health, you deal 20% increased damage and 20% increased healing for 10 seconds. At level 90, Clarity of Will shields the target with a protective ward for 20 seconds and absorbing X damage. Divine Star fires a Divine Star towards forward 24 yards, healing all allies in its path for X and dealing X holy damage to enemies. After reaching its destination, the Divine Star returns to you, healing all allies and damaging enemies in its path again. So it's like a boomerang. Halo creates a ring of halo energy around you that quickly expands to a 30 yard radius, healing allies for X and dealing Y to holy damage to enemies. Decided to start trying to, to do that. X and Y. Level 100, we have Purge the Wicked. It replaces Shadow Word Pain. Cleanses the target with fire, causing X fire damage and an additional Y fire damage over 20 seconds. Spreads to an additional nearby enemy when you cast Penance on the target. Grace increases your non-atonement healing with absorption by 30% on targets with atonement. And last but not least, Shadow Convenant. 
Covenant? Eh. Replaces power word Radiance. Draws upon the power of Shadow to heal up the five injured allies within 30 yards of the target for X, but leaves a shell on them that absorbs the next Y healing they receive within six seconds. So as you can see, Discipline really is a mixed bag of uh, healing and damage. Uh, there is no real... Uh, it's a healing spec, but it's it's got a good mix to it. Now, Holy is the main healing spec. All you're going to do as a Holy Priest is heal. So a versatile healer who can reverse damage on individuals or groups and even heal from beyond the grave. So you have Flash Heal, Renew, Serendipity, Heal, Holy Word, Serenity, and Prayer of Healing. Lots of heal. So, we have level 15 Trail of Light. When you cast Flash Heal, 40% of the healing is replicated to the previous target. You heal with Flash Heal. And during renewal, your single target healing spells refresh the duration of your renew on the target. And in enlightenment, your regeneration, you regenerate mana one ten percent faster, one percent faster. Yeah, angelic feather still is the same, so we're not going to really stick on that. But we have body and mind heals the target for X every one second and increases their movement speed by forty percent for four seconds. And desperate prayer. Heals you for 20% of your maximum health and increases your maximum health by 20%, decreasing by 2% every second. Shining Force we saw, Censure. Holy Words Chastise stuns the target for 5 seconds and is not broken by damage. Afterlife increases the duration of Spirit of Redemption by 50%. Level 60, we have Light of the Naru. Serendipity reduces the remaining cooldown on the appropriate Holy Word. By an additional two seconds. Guardian Angel, when Guardian Spirit expires without saving the target from death, reduce its remaining cooldown to 90 seconds. And Symbol of Hope, bolster the morale of all healers in your party or raid within 40 yards, allowing them to cast spells for no mana for 10 seconds. That I can see as very overpowered. That could be very good in, a, in certain situations. Surge of Light, you're chilling. You're chilling. <laughs> your healing spells and smite have a 8% chance to make your next flash heal instant and cost no mana, maximum of two charges. Blinding heal heals you, another friendly target, and a third friendly target within 20 yards for X. Trigger serendipity, reducing the remaining cooldown on both Holy Word Ser Serenity and Holy Word Sanctify by three seconds. Piety, Prayer of Mending, now triggers Serendipity, reducing your remaining cooldown on Holy Word Sanctify. Level 90, we have Divinity. When you heal with a Holy Word spell, your healing is increased by 15% for 8 seconds. Divine Star and Halo, we have already seen. Apotheosis, Apotheosis? Ah, oh. Enter a pure Holy Form for 30 seconds, increasing the effects of Serendipity by 200%. And reducing the cost of your holy words by 100%. Benediction, your prayer of mending, has a 50% chance to leave a renew on each target it heals. And last but not least, circle of healing. Heals up to 5 injured allies within 30 yards of the target for X. So as you can see, holy really is the, uh, the main, it's really mainly healing. Now let's get to the one that's pure damage, and that is shadow. And they've changed the way that Shadow works, still different. You have a little bit of mana, but you're mainly using Insanity. And as you can see, Stance changed like right away. Changed big time. You even got a, like an outline on him when I hovered over his name. So Shadow is damage. Uh, primary stat is Intellect. It uses Sinister mag Shadow Magic, especially damage over time spells, to eradicate enemies. You use Mind Blast, Vampiric Touch, Void Form, Mind Flay, Shadow Word Pain, and Void Bolt. Now, this entire thing, it's all damage. So there's some things that we've already seen, but uh, we're going to skip over the ones we've seen and continue with everything else. So level 15, we have Twist the Fate. After damaging a target below 35% health, you deal 20% increased damage and 20% increased healing for 10 seconds. We've seen that. Uh, Fortress of the Mind, Mind Flame, Mind Blast, deal 10% more damage and generate 20% more insanity. Shadow Word Void, 
Blast the target's mind for X shadow damage. Mania, you move 1% faster for every 5 insanity you have, so you could move up to 20% faster. Body and soul, and masochism we have seen. Mind bomb replaces psychic screen, inflicts the target with a mind bomb after 2 seconds. Or if the target dies, it unleashes a psychic explosion, stunning all enemies within 8 yards of the target for 2 seconds. Psychic Voice reduces the cooldown of Psychic Screen by 30 seconds, and Dominant Mind we've already seen. Void Lord, Lingering Insanity persists for 8 seconds after you after your next enter Void form. Reaper of Souls, Shadow Word Death is now castable on targets below 35% health, and always generates Insanity as though it killed the target. And Void Ray, Void Ray, we've got a talent called Void Ray. Each time your Mind Flay or Mind Seer deals damage, you gain 10% increased Mind Flay and Mind Seer damage for 4 seconds, stacking up to 5 times. Level 75, we have San Lane. Increases the damage of your Vampiric Touch by 20%, and the healing of your Vampiric Embrace by 20%. Auspicious Spirits, your Shadowy Apparitions, now deal 100% increased damage and generate 4 Insanity. And then Shadowy Insight. Shadow Word Pain, periodic damage, has a 10% chance to reset the remaining cooldown on Mind Blast and cause your next Mind Blast to be instant. Now, Power Word Infusion and Mind Bender we have seen, so Shadow Crash. Hurl a bolt of slow-moving shadow energy at the destination, dealing X damage to all targets within 8 yards. So that is level 90. And last but not least, level 100. Legacy of the Void. Void Form may be activated at any time, your insanity level is 70 or higher. Mind Spike. It replaces Mind Flay. Assail the target with shadowy spikes, dealing X Shadow Frost damage and leaving a spike embedded in their mind. Up to 10 spikes may be embedded this way. Mind Blast will detonate these spikes, each dealing 200% of their original damage to the main target and 100% to all nearby targets. And last but not least, Surrender to Madness. All your insanity generating abilities generate 200% more insanity and you can cast while moving until you exit void form. Then you die. Horribly. I love that they kept this in here. I, I really do. So this is almost like a last. That's it. After this, I'm dead. So after this, I'm dead. <laughs> so there you have it, guys. That is the priest. We're going to have more on the way, of course. So uh, keep your eyes out. We got a few more to do. I think we're a little more than halfway done. So uh, keep an eye because everything else is coming soon.